Yo, what up guys? Today we're gonna do my dream Lego set review. Probably my favorite Lego set. Or is it? Could it be the worst Lego set? Or could it be the best Lego set? We will truly see on today's episode of Lego Review worth it or not. This set comes with seven minifigures. Set number 75257. As you can see, the Millennium Falcon right here boasts over 1,370 pieces and retails for $179.99 Canadian um, here in Canada. As you can see, truly a beautiful build, but we will yet to see what is really on the inside, perhaps hiding something sinister. So let's go to the minifigures. Going on to the first character, we have Bulio over here. Sadly, he was only in the movie for around 15 seconds before he got brutally murdered by Kylo Ren. Win the war! Spoiler alert, but I expected you have all seen The Rise of Skywalker. It's been two years, I think. And here we have Bulio, a great chest design with some straps kind of looks like a skydiving suit um if you go to the head this is all plastic no rubber material that they used to use a uh, very nice face design if i can come a little closer on that a uh, nice detailed eyes with some horns coming at the bottom and the top it looks very nice which can spin that around very detailed back printing with what looks to be a little like tube leading into his back with the nice clips and that's a very nice minifigure. This retails for around $25 on Bricklink, and this is an exclusive to this set. So this is a very good set to pick up if you love Bulio. Um, and I think he, he looks pretty cool. And that's it for Bulio. Okay, guys, this is our next minifigure. Here we have Finn with this spiky hair and this little pouch he has on the side. So as we can see here, Finn has a new haircut. The old one was a lot less spiky. And as you can see, it fits pretty nicely with the design. It comes with a nice silver blaster. And of course, it has Poe Dameron's jacket. And on the back, another great print. Not much detail, but I don't think it needs much. Some nice accessories it comes with is this little bag here. It straps around and you can't put the arm fully down since the bag is intruding, but you can stick it up a little and you can position it how you want on the left side or the right side. And he has a nice smile on this side. On the other side, he has a very scared expression that may leave some people frightened. But as we can see here, there's Finn. I think he probably is an ex exclusive to the set. I have some other friends, but of course a nice detailed Han Solo pants. If we get um, Han Solo here, um, it's a pretty close replica. This is the 2014 Han Solo, but if you can see the gun holster here is a little different if we can get that in the light. So that is our second character, Finn. Next up, we have the exclusive and elusive Lando Calrissian Old Man Edition. He has a very, very nice yellow print that stayed true to the movies and a very nice hairdo with this nice receding hairline. As you can see, there's a little gray on his mustaches and eyebrows with a very stern look on one side. And if we flip it around, a very nice happy look on the other side. As you can see, he comes with two accessories. If I back this up a little, he has a cane that is attached by one stud. Um, there was a nice stick design. On the other, he has a silver blaster with this nice attachment. I'm guessing that spreads the range or something. Nice strap down the middle. If we go to the back, you can see just a regular strap on the back design. But what's really nice is this cape. It's a double layer cape. And it has blue on the inside and black on the outside. And it's a lot thicker and very high quality. The bottom and the top are two different 
capes as seen in a lot of vampire sets so that's a very cool detail and this is one of the better minifigures i'm pretty sure it goes for around 30 dollars on brooklyn canadian um and that's it for lando calrissian Next up, we have the man who has been in pretty much every single Millennium Falcon, Chewbacca. They're just the greatest design. They've been using it for around like seven years now. Um, this is a new crossbow design. It's not, uh, Chewie is in a ton of sets. He's not just limited to this set. But as you can see, it's a very nice design. You simply just press it and it shoots very far. Um, it's a very nice uh, mold, new, just a chewy. And the back is just some fur with a bandolier. Uh, just some fur on the pants and not very special minifigure, but it is a great minifigure for your Millennium Falcon and Star Wars collection. And that's pretty much all for Chewy. Next up, we have a simple C-3PO that isn't featured in like a majillion, bajillion sets. He comes with some very detailed wire printing with some nice droid printing on the torso the pants some nice wires and legs the, the kind of gold chrome looks very nice especially the pants there if you can see it shines very nice the back uh, of course more wires and kind of like a panel board on the head it's a very simple minifigure but it does the job well and i think it looks very nice that's it for c3po Next up, we have R2-D2, who is even in more sets than C-3PO. He's in like quadrillion, bajillion, sextillion sets. As you can see, the normal uh, pattern that they've been using for a millennia now, a millennium, Millennium Falcon. Very nice chrome design on the head. Very simplistic, but detailed front design for the droid. Kind of what we all expect for R2-D2. Back is just plain white with some nice detailing on the top. And that's pretty much all you need to know for R2-D2. Finally, we have our smallest character. If you count this one, there are seven minifigures in the set. Has a very nice wheel design, new mold. Uh, it's, his name is Dio. He has three lines down the front. They made a buildable figure of him. Very nice green at the top. And some nice prints on the side. And a nice cone piece. And that's pretty much the whole design for Dio. Now let's move away these small things because they pale in comparison to the ginormous, luxurious Millennium Falcon when we will be inspecting every part of it. As you can see, the front two panels, very long, very nice, and if you look in here, two spring-loaded shooters, just simply press, and it fires very long distance, very nice, very good mechanism. As you can see, the front cockpit, if we zoom up in there, has space for two minifigures. So you simply just take off this, and you can put Dio in his own little stud in the back. You just want to put him in, and he fits in right there. You can put up to two minifigures, but it's more simplistic to put one that will fit better. Just put him in there, and then you can just put the cap right over. And you can see a little C-3PO in front. Very nice side design with little things that you would never expect. Little like gold bars in a gray color. Little attachments and railings, so that looks very nice. As you can see the front little bars that are connected by hooks with smooth pieces. Very nice design. This does fold down, but we'll get to that later. We're just working on exterior. As you can see, the side has a very nice radar dish, secured by a nice pin that will never fall off. Very nice rotation, and I prefer the dish to the rectangle that we got in the 2017 version. Here we have a very nice uh, design on the side, phones, binoculars, may seem weird, but it's very nice. Little circuit here, uh, there's no escape pod on this Millennium Falcon. Uh, sadly, little roller skates. These are all panels uh, that are attached by these clips here. It looks a little hard to build, but it's not very hard to build. Next up, we have this beautiful design of these blue panels that really make the look. As you can see, two things running across it with little panels on the top securing the blue. More panels on the side and around the same uh, around so here are the panels it has a very nice uh, kind of four quarter panels so to decrease cre uh, cracks the sometimes these can fall off but they usually stay on 
these here are all stickers. Uh, over here I had some technical difficulties and sadly one of these ripped, but you can barely tell the difference. Very nice design, some slides here, make it look nice. As you can see, there's a front cannon on the top, it spins 360 degrees. I do have to say the build here is a little fragile and here's a sticker. If we go to the top here, here's another sticker. We can open this straight up and it pulls a little panel out. You might be asking, what the heck is this panel for? That's weird. No, it's not weird. You're weird. So basically, you just take any character. Let's say we take Finn. And you just take him in and you put him for the ride of his life. You just stick him in there and then you close the top and now he's controlling the guns. If we look on the bottom here, there's another gun that's been 360 degrees. I like it off because it kind of falls off sometimes. And as you can see, the front has fell off, but that doesn't really matter for now. As you can see, four landing gear, very stable. If you look at the bottom, it's a very stable build. Nothing will fall off on you pre-play. Uh, it's a very displayable set, and it's a very playable set. So this will go very nicely with my Slave 1. These panels cannot lift, ne neither can this, but these panels here can lift. So now, let's move on to the interior. So you can just lift on, they're attached right here, this one. So if you look over here, very nice kitchen set with a little mug and uh, pan. It's actually in the lore. Han Solo gave his uh, Princess Leia, his wife, a kitchen set in the Falcon as like a wedding gift. So here we have a little tube for design. Um, this comes up, so let's say you can just take this guy to make it easier. But this pulls up, and you can store all sorts of things. You can store blasters, or you can literally store whole whole minifigures as like a hiding thing. Uh, in The Force Awakens, they used it to hide. As you can see here, there's a little hyperdrive, um, or that's what they used to go into hyperspace. Two beds here, very brilliant design, secured by this one thing down here, which makes it truly uh, a brilliant small design. Um, we can put the guys on their bed. Looks very nice. Bulia, I'm using for the uh, demonstration because he is the best sleeper on the Millennium Falcon, and he does look very nice and seated very nice. So that's it for this kind of quadrant. So we'll just close this up here. Next up, coming to this, you just pull on the radar dish. This is a very stable connection here. Uh, this pulls down, and this has a more flimsy connection. You see, it's 10 by string. That can sometimes break off, but we're just going to go here. A very famous scene where, you know, Chewbacca and C-3PO uh, play with the uh, kind of, it's called like hollow chest or something, table. And as you can see, these are stickers very nicely. And the middle chair can rotate, but these ones don't. You can move this up and down depending on the angle that your character's sitting on. None of these panels move. Very nice decor around it. This is kind of on like a Technic spring to move around. There's a lot of Technic parts to secure some pieces. We'll just spin this around. If you can see here, there's a little control panel here. These are stickers. Um, if you go down, here's a little chair, it spins 360. Very nice design, you can adjust the armrest and the chair to your liking. Do we have another, I guess, garbage can? Um, and a cool feature I'll show you. So if we open up the, if we open up the back, we can see this little panel. Just push down, and on the outside here, oops, technical difficulties. Just snap that back in case it ever does fall out. And as we can see, oh wait, can we see? Yeah, we can see it has opened up a little hatch towards, and you can just stuff guys, Bulio, get in there and secure it. There's a very nice pin system on the bottom to keep it from coming out on accident. So very nice design, the front, very nice build, the garbage can sealed. On the outside, look, it's a very nice design. I'm very pleased with how it looks, and I think this is the best Lego set. No, hands down. The UCS one is a little too big for me to fit in my house, but this one is just perfectly integrated with every mechanic, every addition. It just works perfectly. If you look here, the details are just spot on. The way to integrate the bullets going through here, that's just masterful. 
And it sounds like I'm just praising, and it sounds like I'm biased since Millennium Falcon is probably like my most favorite ship in Star Wars. But it is a truly amazing set, and it is probably my biggest set I've built. Um, soon I will be doing some other reviews, like the Baby Yoda buildable figure review, and a lot of minifigure and Brooklyn guides coming out soon. I've been doing the edits recently, but with school, uh, I just haven't been posting as regularly. My new Boba Fett got a lot of views, and I'm really happy that we're hitting, we just hit 110 subs. So just, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is just a great set with just great additions it's just a 10 out of 10 design 9 out of t 9 10 10 out of 10 playability 10 out of 10 uh, swoosh ability it really just swooshes well it really just goes in the air well it is a little heavy but if you just hold from any stable part it will be fine um it's just a great design and i think it's just a great lego set so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, comment, like, subscribe, all that YouTube f cool, cool stuff. Um, if you made it this far, thanks for being such a fan, and see ya. Bye.